Hi everyone, I'm here at NVIDIA GTC, meeting people as they're walking around and asking them a few questions about AI. Hassan, do you mind telling me in 20 seconds what you do? Yeah, absolutely. So I lead developer relations at a company called Together AI. We are an AI infra platform. We basically give developers uh, APIs to interact with open source models, and we give folks uh, GPU clusters to train their models as well. What sort of models are you guys hosting? Well, we have chat models like DeepSeq R1 or, or the Quinn reasoning models or the, even the Llama models as well. If they really like most modalities covered. Yeah. yeah. There's a you know there's a little bit of a debate uh, among AI engineers about uh, the differences between the closed source models and the open source models. There was a pretty big gap between closed and open source models maybe one or two years ago. Yeah. But I think the gap has has closed really in the last year. It's been honestly incredible to see like Meta come out with the Llama models, DeepSea come out with these amazing reasoning models. Yeah. You know, the, to this day, R1 is still like the only model that'll show all of its reasoning traces and yeah. like it's a really exciting time in open source right now. So it's, I'm, I'm really happy models seem to have, have caught up. You have some big demo apps that you built. Yeah. Uh, tell me yeah. a little bit about those. I just like building, you know, cool open source AI apps essentially. Yeah. And so when a new model comes out, uh, I'll try to think, you know, what's the coolest possible thing I can build using it and, and yeah. do that. When we release Llama, 3.1405 B last year. That was like the best open source like coding model at the time. And so I was like, you know what? Let me let me try to build a V0 bolt.new kind of app sure. that's like fully open source, free, yeah. you know, using open source models. Uh, so I built one and uh, that, that's been going pretty good. Yeah, how good? 1.2 million people that have used it so far. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And about 5,000 GitHub stars. I think my last demo app had like four users. It was mostly family. <laughs> uh, so yeah, good, good job. Thanks, Whatever thanks. you're doing, keep doing it. Thank you. Any advice to AI engineers who want to break into the field, kind of where to start? I think it depends on your background a little bit. I usually tell people, you know, if you're a, a Python person, you can stick with Python, start with some scripts. You can look on Reddit or Hacker News or Product Hunt or really anywhere for advice. You can ask ChatGPT for advice as well. Sure. Um, but you really just want to build something. And so I think like start with some scripting. Uh, eventually you can use something like Streamlit to start building UIs and, and yeah. everything kind of stays in Python. And if you're a web developer, um, you know, I, my stack is kind of like the Next.js, Tailwind, ChatCN. What's cool about that stack also is it's really easy to vibe code. So I, I love it, man. It's been it's been amazing. You know, spin up cursor, ask it to do some prompts. No, but seriously, what's your vibe coding setup? A lot of the time, I'll get V0 to do, to do my front end. I'll take that front end, I'll import it into either cursor or windsurf. I've been trying both, and then from there, I'll usually like ask it to add a feature. A lot of the time, I'll have this designed in Figma. So like, I'll take a screenshot of Figma, put it in cursor and be like, hey, can you try to add this feature for me? And keep going back and forth and huh. um, not even look at the code. Sometimes you start with like, front end. I find that front end is a little bit harder to get right in my experience. Um, so I usually just start there. But if I just have a random idea that I want to hack on or yeah. do a proof of concept, yeah. a lot of the time like I can vibe code for 30 minutes and like see where I get and then be like, oh, actually, this, this would be a really good app to build. Let me actually like put more time and, and fully build. Any tools to, to make your prompts better if you're trying to vibe code? It's worth having some kind of rules, I mean like cursor rules or something yeah. like that. There's a lot of great directories online. If you just Google like cursor rules, yeah. you'll find all these directories, find the stack that you're using, yeah. and then just copy paste one of them and put them in there. Have you tried Super Whisper to do uh, voice to text when you're vibe coding? I have tried it. It's 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 pretty futuristic. Yeah. You're like not that's... touching the keyboard, not touching anything. And that's like... my new it, man. That's oh, like, man. I, Is that what you do? Yeah, I'm just like, a command space and then I'm just talking and it just takes all of my unfiltered thoughts and oh, <laughs> turns it into beautiful prompts. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Great running into you, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks man. For I chatting. appreciate it. Yeah, of good, course. Good to see you.